social media we all use it and now these got to be the worst platforms on social media to ever grace the planet like as we go by day by day i swear to god i'm seeing more bots on the street it's crazy a lot of these social media platforms are old and just already dead and some of them are just really bad for you in general and i think it's safe to say the first platform that we got to start with is kick why did this platform even exist bro kick was just made to be a, a messenger app like whatsapp and a lot of people used it for uh for spicy spicy photos to send them on there and now when i was naive in middle school i didn't really understand this i just had kick because well i thought it was cool to have a bunch of social media platforms for some reason like how does that even make any sense like that was the dumbest way to possibly look at the situation the amount of weirdos just dropping pictures left and right that weren't family friendly bro oh my god i can't even just begin to explain this platform just wasn't a safe place at all and uh kick just didn't really give a fuck i guess and kick just sucked so obviously it fell off and nobody uses it to this day like i could not name one soul on this planet that uses kick bro why are you using a kick out of anything bro out of any platform out there you chose kick how does kick have so many monthly users still like how does that even make any next up we got twitter now twitter is just a toxic environment in general and it is one of the worst spaces on social media of all time everybody's getting canceled left and right people let the smallest things offend them and worst of all people just beef with each other over the smallest things just all the time for no reason the users on twitter just look like they don't even go outside in the first place like how could you look at somebody who has a k-pop profile picture canceling people and say yeah they definitely go outside you don't know anything about the outside world so who are you to say that that person's canceled makes no sense man like the difference from what you could get away with on the internet now and six years ago is crazy so much has changed since 2016 and it's wild people take the most insignificant shit and say someone's being ableist for example when their attention obviously wasn't to be ableist like dude why are you letting it offend you like just bro just move on holy hell now let's talk about reddit reddit is the home of many neckbeards all right reddit is the home where neckbeards just come together and basically say they have all this reddit karma and they do the most to get mod all right i mean a lot of these motherfuckers they don't shower they're sweaty and if you're somebody that just like i don't know uses reddit to look at funny videos or clips well good luck if you post something the mods are gonna be on your head they're gonna be like actually man it just goes against uh, subreddit rules like bro shut the f man it's just reddit it's not that deep like a lot of people just look at reddit and make it seem like it's their entire life like you're alive you're breathing it's okay you're not bleeding reddit is not the end all be all bro why do you even care if somebody quote unquote broke a rule in your subreddit like just get some fresh air bro like clean your room boom breeze it it stinks you gotta crack a window big dog now we gotta talk about tiktok and as you know if you're a fan of my birdie channel you know i fucking hate tiktok and you know that i think me personally i think that shit's ass the content's so short and you're constantly scrolling and giving yourself dopamine hits to the point where it's just gonna kill your attention span like i used to use tiktok like a year ago and I would just sit in my college dorm and scroll for hours sometimes and it made me feel like shit and I wasn't getting anything out of it at all I just felt like shit I wasn't achieving anything and I sure as hell wasn't doing anything productive like I could have did something super exciting like climbed a mountain or just something crazy and my brain would have somehow gave me more dopamine for being on TikTok it's crazy to get all these little short dopamine hits every time I scroll on a video everyone's attention span is so fucked nowadays to the point where like, if I were to post my videos on TikTok, right, I would have to put a gameplay thing at the bottom in order for it to even do well. Like, I don't want people like that in my audience. I want people who are actually going to watch my content and care about me rather than just like the subway surfers or family guy at the bottom. And it's just too much going on at once. Like, I don't know how people need that much stimulation to pay attention. My attention span's pretty ass, don't get me wrong, but holy hell, three or four clips? Like, you, you are on a whole nother level. Now we got to talk about 4chan. Bro, what even is this? Like, I just went on here now and this is the first, this is the first time I'm on 4chan, bro. They got like NSFW content. They got some weird shit on here. It's crazy. They got shit ranging from photography to NSFW. Like it makes no sense. There's not really many rules and regulations on this platform. So yeah, this is the platform where you're most likely to find some degenerate shit on. I mean, the shit looks janky as hell. Like if you just take one look at it, looks like some shit you'd see on the internet back in like 2008. A lot of neckbeards inhibit the website. And a lot of you are probably like, who? What? What the fuck is a 4chan when you're watching this video right now? Now we got Discord. Now, Discord is an app I use while 
because I'm a YouTuber. It's like literally the only way I can get in contact with them and get in calls and stuff like that. But I generally don't join servers or anything. But if you do, you gotta be careful because they got there, there's some weird individuals on Discord. That, that's all I'm gonna say. For the years I've been using Discord, yeah, it's safe to say I've ran into my fair share of a few weirdos, bro. I did meet a lot of cool people on Discord. I'm not gonna lie, but but when I was in those servers, like making the connections with like people I thought were cool, I met some weirdos along the way. Like yeah, these people were definitely like these people that i met were definitely terminally online like there's no other way of putting it like i could not tell you the last time these motherfuckers have seen the light of day and a lot of people are always getting into drama and doing some weird shit behind the scenes so i'm like all right let me just disconnect with them it is not worth my time next up we got omegle and if you go on here and don't expect to see a man's genitals just get off the website hey yeah i'm gonna meet some fantastic people on omegle today that is not happening bro like good luck one time i went on omegle for a video and it just did not go well i got insults thrown my way and it you know it just really cut deep man oh my god those omegle people it's tragic they really be hurting my self-esteem if you're like yeah i want to use omegle today just get off just save yourself from seeing a man's genitals yeah there's literally like i don't know why motherfuckers be showing that shit off to the world but i guess they are you don't know what you could see because there there's really no restrictions on here i mean sometimes you can get banned but i don't know that's kind of rare this platform is just bound for disaster because you can literally show anything on your webcam now we got to talk about tinder bro fuck tinder all right this shit's ass when i used tinder about a year ago i was in my element bro i was in my i gotta find a date era that that's where i was at but in this era of my life it was a shitty one i'm not gonna lie i was constantly getting ghosted it was tough it, it was tragic I, I wasn't even getting any matches either like i was like damn am i just butt ugly like what the f and what i learned is you actually don't even get impressions if you just have the basic tinder you won't even get impressions like it's crazy you have to have tinder platinum if you even want to get impressions so it's just a waste of fucking time and if you're a girl the chances of finding a dude that's like genuine on tinder yeah it's pretty low now we got to talk about telegram who the fuck even uses this shit like seriously i cannot name one soul that has ever used telegram in my entire life like there was actually one dude once who was pretending to be me on youtube right and he was basically promoting his telegram scam i guess and on that channel i had a verification check so you are a dumbass if you think you're gonna fool people with this stupid ass telegram shit and plus no one's downloading the app anyway so why even bother doing it next up we got house party yeah you might want to be careful with this one so house party is pretty much just like a video chatting app where you can chat with like anybody worldwide and sure it might be great for chatting with friends but uh yeah you can see some weird shit on house party it's kind of like omega when it comes to restrictions and now the most dangerous out of all of these has got to be hands down snapchat you could see a picture just pop up up in your inbox you don't know what the hell it is i mean it could be literally anything and snapchat also has this thing called streaks and it like kind of makes you send pictures to random ass people like it's kind of dumb i don't get it in high school i was like big on the whole streaks thing i thought it was super cool to have high streaks but now i just don't give a fuck like i'm like why the hell was i even doing this i was literally just wasting my time i was just sending a black screen with a goddamn s on it to random npcs i didn't even know i'm like what the hell am i even doing right like is it really that important to run up your snap score i don't think so. and god forbid when these kids are about to lose their streaks it's life or death if the power cuts out oh no man they're, they're, they're the world's ending your streak is about to break nah but in all seriousness some people act like the world is going to crash and burn if their snap streaks end like it is not that deep and how to limit all these problems with these other social media platforms is just limit everything to your friends and your friends only the entire point of social media was to be more connected with your friends so why not just use it for that like that that makes the most sense let me know in the comments what you think is the worst social media platform